Hi, hi, hello. Hi, hi, hello. Okay, so now the mic is close enough. Good. Um, okay, so, woo, today's video. Um, so today's video, I decided, in the spirit of Halloween, um, I would redesign one of my old characters, um, that's a witch. Um, I used to have a whole universe of witches when I was in the, um, in middle school. Um, but I kind of just forgot about them. So, you know, um, I'm gonna bring it back for Halloween. Oh, and before I start talking more about the drawing, um, I should say that, uh, one, if you like, so subscribe. Two, um, I'm doing Gortober. I, um, uh, and, um, you can follow my, uh, TikTok, because I have one now, uh, because I've been posting there um, pretty much every day. Uh, I I've done every day so far and of my prompts because you know it's a little fun challenge and so I thought you know uh, people would want to see that so if you have a TikTok um, go follow I have a link in the description cool yeah uh, <laughs> and this uh, yeah um, another thing um, well, that's actually pretty much it. I don't think I have anything else to say other than like, subscribe, and to go see my Gortober stuff. But, yeah. Um, so, for the drawings, um, I like to do my under, like, my base sketch in black. I don't know. I started doing this because it made me feel like a concept artist. Uh, so, uh, it, I, it made me feel fancy. So, that's what I, that's what I do. Um... And then this is, so basically these are some basic sketches. I wanted to get the silhouette because originally I imagined her having this. She's a f more feisty character because I remember her name was Clover because of her like green hair. Or it's more like a cyan but I was supposed to be like a teal. Um, and essentially she was this very feisty like 8 year old. The first thing I did, I wanted to age her up because um, I since for her new story I want her to be older mostly because um, the situations she would be in in the new story I was thinking of it would be more appropriate for a teenager or at least someone older to be in those situations because uh, a child wouldn't really know how to handle themselves um, you know so I decided to age her up so you know cool um, and um, I wanted her dress I didn't know I don't know how to really uh, I won't even say I do know how, but I didn't really know how to draw fluffy dresses back then, so it was just a, you know, a normal dress where it wasn't fluffy. But for this, I decided, well, it's gonna be a fluffy dress, like, um, it's gonna, like, poof out, and it's gonna have, like, a bunch of, like, layers under it to where, like, if you see the underside of it, it just kinda looks like a pit of, like, fabrics, you know? Um, you know the kind of dresses I'm talking about. So, I thought, because I thought that'd be a really cute aesthetic for, like, a witch. Um, because they have, you know, traditionally they have the big fluffy dresses and it's really cute. Um, but yeah. Um, I also wanted to talk about the other character you saw. Um, his name is L. I don't know how I'm going to apply him in the story because originally he was just kind of a sidekick for her. Um, so I'll probably make another video, maybe like a bonus video, um, this week, um, redesigning him. Um, yeah, because I really do, I think I do need to redesign him and I might repurpose his character and make him different, like really different. Um, yes, and oh, and another thing I should talk about, you don't see the cat yet, but the cat, um, you can see the silhouette of like the rough sketch of the cat, which, um, I end up flipping it around, so, yeah. Um, the cat, originally, his name was Mr. Midnight until... Um, in the ye old gear of 2021, I realized, A, that was super basic, and B, that was in Fran Bo, and I was like, oh god, I don't, uh, copyright? What? 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 What's copyright? Uh, <laughs> so I decided to, um, essentially, I decided to make, change the cat's name to Mr. Lemon, uh, because, uh, he has a yellow eye. Um, and, it, and it's really big and wide and it looks like a lemon. It's not that deep. Um, so, yeah. What else should I talk about? Um, well, I'll talk about the world that they were originally in. Because, uh, I think that needs some explanation. Uh, so in the world that they are in, um, 
it's kind of like uh, Harry Potter, not Harry Potter, but it's like there's a magical world and there's a non-magical world, um, and they don't really interact with each other. But I realized um, I didn't like that, uh, so I decided, you know, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna make it to where um, it's more like a, a D and D sort of world, um, or a sort of well, not D and D, but like um, basically um, most of I want, let me explain the world, um, because there are multiple stories in this world. Um, most of, um, it has been 10,000 years since the year, uh, well, since the last year civilization as we know it has collapsed. Um, and basically we're starting over where the pollution is so bad that the science of it is more like a magic. And as years go by, uh, you know, it gets dumbed down, uh, you know, by the, uh, civilization gets dumbed down and they slowly realize believe that the science is magic and basically you, yes you're kind you're working with science but you're also working with well it's considered magic in the game um so like and some people because of the pollution um of these dumbed down people will have magical abilities will be part animal which will create your other races um will have like blue skin you know which will also create other races you know fun stuff um and uh so she is a witch in this world which basically means she has the ability to control magic um or you know what i mean um i do have other characters that reside in this world but they're a little different and they are unrelated to her um but basically her job is she runs around and she battles monsters that are causing disruptions to villages you know stealing the babies and children and eating the livestock and all that fun stuff she takes care of those which i know the skirt isn't that practical for that but like like come on like like you know how fun it would be to just watch like just this big fluffy skirt just like go like 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 bounce everywhere and it could be like a parachute like when she falls like an alice from alice in wonderland you know that just sounds really fun to me um so you know um i decided that uh like look at look at the sketch of her like pointing her 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 like tell me that's not fun like that's so much fun so that's why she has a skirt. Um, and in my mind, the pleats always cover the underside of her skirt, no matter what sort of position she's in. So like the fluffy part under her skirt always covers everywhere. I don't know how that would work, but that's what how it's gonna be. Um, and um, yeah. Uh, so she goes around and battles things, and I'm not too sure how this would be um, affect. I don't know what her like story story would be other I don't know what she really does yet because I'm remaking the whole story um and I don't know how L would fit into the story but I do want him to fit in a little bit um mostly because he's been there since the start oh and I should talk about uh, the line art and colors and stuff yeah okay so for the line art and colors uh basically I decided that um I was only gonna do flats uh because this is kind of like a rough sheet for me for any future drawings I want to make. So, you know, that's fun, cool, fresh. Um, so, you know, I also didn't involve the broomstick because in my mind, I don't think, I think there, I mean, I think, yes, there'd be broomsticks, but I don't think she would use them all the time. And I also think she'd probably just end up walking from place to place or like, I don't know yet, but maybe, Maybe Mr. Lemon can, like, turn into, like, the size of a horse and she can, like, ride around on him. Oh my god, that'd be so cute. Okay, but yeah. Um, another thing I should say, uh, Mr. Mr. Midnight and her, I know I'm at the color, well, I'm, I'm around the color part and I should say that, um, like, I don't know, I don't, I know I'm not at the eyes yet, but, like, um, they, okay, so she has heterochromia of a one pink eye and one yellow eye. Um, and then, uh, Mr. Lemon has the same heterochromia, but it's, like, flipped. So, like, um, if I'm correct, her, uh, let me see, because I don't rem I don't remember, uh, because it's left and right, and I have a, have a bitch of a time with, uh, left and right. So, her left eye is yellow, and her right eye is, uh, like, pink, and then Mr. Lemon, his left eye is pink, and his right eye is yellow. 
Um, I don't want to say what this means for the plot. Um, <laughs> so, you know, I'm gonna hush hush about that, but, but I do know that is a big thing in the plot. Um, and yeah, uh, this is pretty much the end. I don't know really what else to say, uh, other than I had a really fun time drawing this and um, if you like this, subscribe if you saw me shilling at the beginning. <laughs> and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching if you did. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye! I'm not a